Hello everyone, Sigler here. Bork, Jeff, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm gonna show you a farm that I... Uh, it's not like it's a new farm, but it's a very good farm in my opinion. And you can do it like as early as like level 80 to my understanding. And like if if you feel comfort comfortable uh, in killing level 80 once, then it should be no problem at all. But yeah, basically what you do in this farm is you are uh, in Mount Hygel, uh, around this part over here, in the Ascendant's Rise. And what you do is you are running around and AoE pulling these Flame Ascendants. And uh, the reason is because they have a chance to drop a Volatile Fire. And at the moment they are around, uh, like around 40 gold each on my server and the thing is though we are gonna do a little bit of an opening also um, because you can play it together with our new treasure which is called potion of treasure finding uh, currently it's cost 219 in order to buy it from the auction house and it's a one hour a potion. Well, it's more like an uh, like a flask because it persists through death and what it says is allows you to sometimes find extra treasures from monsters in Mount Hygel, Vaishir, Deepholm, um, Twilight Highlands and Uldum. And at the moment uh, we are in Mount Hygel. Why I like this farm, uh, I actually have skinning as well, which makes it so around this part this is part of a quest i think and there's a there's usually like a lot of people here at least now in the beginning of the expansion that is questing through mount, mount Igel, and they are killing these so a lot a lot of times i'm just like circling around killing these two and uh, sometimes there is a uh, one patrolling and then whenever i'm like flying by if there's like multiple corpses here from the drakes I just skin them because I have skinning on this one which makes it even better and after that I just go to this one and usually there's one over here and one over here and I'm gonna show you a, a part of the video because I actually found out that if you're killing them fast enough and you're just killing the uh, subjugator as well you can pretty much f uh, hit a hyper spawn, and hyper spawn means that um, there is supposed to be a set amount of mobs in this area, and by killing it fast enough, there's like always something to kill because it should be a certain amount of things there and if the area is a little bit more populated and maybe there's uh, someone questing over here like slaying these like this one for example like whatever and there and there i actually found a in the video and you can see now actually like i'm pulling everything mount pulling everything from here to there and like grabbing this one if it comes and then aweing them down and it's just super simple but what I got from one hour is uh, like I got a few gold in just loot from the normal the humanoid subjugators but let's sort this bag um, like for example I'm we're gonna first do a we're gonna go to the auction house and see what the actual price is as well but Let's start with a vendor trash and see how much gold is gonna be. Oh, well, okay. Uh, so, let's see here. Let me pull up a calculator. Calculator. There we go. So, we had 1319 gold. Okay. Let's vendor trash and see how much gold we got just from vendor trash. So, we got, I uh, oh, well, we got like 100 gold to be exact, like 101 gold 
in one hour in just vendor trash. And now we actually can see what we actually got, like more of uh, the actual loot, more, more or less, because it's a lot of uh, trash. But let's just look in here. We got a wand, we got like some greens, which is gonna be awesome later. I haven't gotten uh, enchanting high enough yet, but I've been stackpiling them on my alt. Uh, those uh, like items that is not really worth posting because it might be like a, of the tiger or of the whale and those are not relevant anymore. So all of those I've sent to my bank alt and the other ones that could be like the, um, the seer, um, could be wave, wave crest is actually a very nice one because it's a mastery and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we got a lot of greens and we also got the blackened Blackened uh, dragon scale because they drop from that and from those dragons and also some savage leather and we got 50, 57 uh, savage leather and if, if if we see now they sell for uh, 34 gold a stack so that's like a 70 70 no, almost 80 gold and then we got ember silk cloth from the the humanoid subjugators, so that's uh, 130 gold stack. But yeah, and then we got the dragon flank. We actually got a recipe here as well. But yeah, and also like I said, we got 54 volatile fire, and we haven't even opened the treasure yet. But 54 currently is. 2,159 gold in one hour but let's go to Stormwind in the Dwarven district and just see how much this is gonna give us so let's put everything on the auction house I'm just gonna because I already have stuff on the auction house so let's empty the mailbox first and let's see here. I think my volume might be a bit high there. Uh, I'm just going to empty the bag. So, we fir first of all, we got 100 gold. But let's open the, the bags and see what else we got. So, we also have a chance to get the Volatile Life. So, what do they go for? Okay, 3 gold. Not that much. Let's see next one. Voltile Earth, which is even better, it's 21 gold. And let's just open everything. Oh, this is gonna be a good yield. Oof, 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 that's nice. So let's see here, how much do we actually got? Okay, we've got 1,375 gold on the auction house at the moment. So let's post everything. Uh, that is worth posting. So this one, I guess. That one, mm, not this one, I think. Uh, they, these usually can sell for 150, roughly. Ah, let's put something like 100. The bandit is okay. Eagle is not okay. Seer is okay. This one could be, should be there. So let's post it there. So, and there we go, we're posting that thing. And we even got more now. So this is 1,000, okay, it's not as much as it was before. But it's, it's a still a good yield. And keep in mind to post in, in the lowest one, in my opinion, whenever you do in like raw material farming that is relevant for the expansion because they're gonna sell like 100%. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, there, there, post. <clears throat> but it's a very simple farm and blood decay is like so good because you can, you have taunt, you have the uh, death coil and you like, you have the death grip, you have ice touch, you have so much stuff to pull things with. <clears throat> 
there we go. We're posting one. There we go. And let's see how much we're actually going to get now. Let's post that thing. We post them in five, I think. Posting in five. Okay. Sorry. I actually forgot to post in, in 12, 12 hours myself. Let's post these in five. So that's 510 gold in just ember silk. Like the ember silk farms are so good right now. And the dragon flank is not that worth posting. Um, got a few more of those. That thing. Well, okay. So we had 1,375. What do we have now? Let's see here. Okay, 2,172 minus 1,395. Okay, it wasn't that big as much as I thought. Or do I have to update it? Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Uh, I have to do this again. 4,730 there. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, can you see this? I'm selling everything now. Woo. Oh, uh, 881 plus 4,221.5. So currently I had 5,000. 106 minus 1375 wait 881 plus 4225 minus 1375 uh, so almost four <coughs> almost 4000 gold an hour in just raw materials and if you have the professions for them you this can be even more so and i also keep in mind i was leveling so i also got like 1.5 uh, million experience an hour so i'm quite happy with the with the result of this um i already sold uh, like a thousand gold yeah the volatile earth are already sold so yeah it, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Sorry. It's the pollen outside. It's insane. Um, yeah, that's just every, everything for today. I hope you liked the video. And please consider to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you felt like this is helping you. Um, and leave a comment down below if uh, there is something special about this farm that I might miss or anything at all. And if you click on this video over here, you're going to see why this DK is going to be like the best farming class in Cataclysm, in my opinion, and that, like why I'm going to play it. But before you leave, make sure to hit subscribe because we are on a goal and I'm we are climbing which is very fun to see and I'm welcoming everyone to well the Bork family <laughs> or whatever I should call it but yeah click this video and I'll greet you over there Bork Bork <laughs>